Reinstalling an OS on your laptop, PC or Steam Deck might be necessary as you may have corrupted your OS or you've installed a new SSD and you have no operating system on it. Therefore, using a USB drive, you're able to flash an OS image onto it so that you can plug it into your system and then reinstall the OS that you desire. However, you need to make sure that this is done properly, otherwise you may run into some corruption issues. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly exactly how to do that on Windows. Hello everyone, my name's Mike and here at Sabrin we love to make and talk tech. So if that's what you're into, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay updated with all our future videos. So first of all, we want to download Rufus. So we want to head to the Rufus website, which I will have linked down below. And this is the program that we're gonna be using to create bootable USB drives. And we want to go to the download section and then download the latest version of Rufus. And then you want to install that into your system. Once we have downloaded Rufus and installed it, we want to open it up and you should be presented with this screen right over here. Now we want to download our OS image and we want to make sure that we download this from the official website of the OS. So for example, if you are using a uh, Windows OS, then you want to make sure that you download it from the Windows website so you get a non-corrupted OS image. Same if you wanted a Steam Deck OS image, you want to make sure that you get that from the Steam Deck website. Now we want to just connect up our USB drive. So this one here is the Sabrin Rocket Nano V2, which is a great small USB drive that is really, really fast. Now it may pop up with a window like this, so we just want to close that down. Then we want to head to the start menu and we want to right click and then we want to go to disk management. Now this section over here is our USB drive and we want to make sure that it's formatted into the XFAT format just so that we don't have any issues when it comes to re-imaging or flashing the OS onto the USB drive. So to do that, all that we need to do is click on the partition on the USB drive. We then want to right click on it and we want to click on format. Then we want to label the volume. So here we're just going to call it Nano V2. We want to make sure that the file system is on XFAT and then we want to leave the allocation unit size as default and then make sure that the box where it says perform a quick format is checked and then we want to press OK and then it will come up with a pop-up saying all the volume will be deleted. We want to press OK and that should take a moment to complete and then once that is done we want to close the disk management window down and then we want to head back to the Rufus window. So first of all we want to select our ISO image so we want to click on select we then want to go to the location where it is saved. So for mine, it is saved on the desktop. So we want to click on that and then press open. We then want to go where it says show advanced drive properties. And then we want to tick the box where it says list USB drives. So we want to click on that box. And as you can see, it comes up with the Nano Rocket V2 right over here, the one terabyte. We want to double check everything. So format options, there you go. And then it says ready. We want to then click on start. And then it comes up with a pop out. Do you want to continue? Of course we do. So we want to press OK. And then this will take anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes, depending on obviously the drive that you're using, as well as the ISO image that you're flashing to your USB drive and then once it has completed you'll get this pop-up just over here so we just want to close that and as you can see it is all completed ready to go and now your USB drive has the OS flashed onto it in order for you to then use it on your chosen device in order to install or reinstall your chosen OS as you can see that was super simple and hopefully this process has made it really easy for you to follow so that you can do this with your own USB drive but any Anyway, that's it for today's video. If you did find this video helpful, then make sure to smash that like button and also hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay updated with all our future videos. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.